Yeah, it's magic, isn't it? It's crystal. Yeah. yeah. It's crystal. It's crystal. It's crystal. It's crystal color response. And they're they're so different. So this this is the area that that kind of called me back. But here I got a very different experience. To this one, it's, it's very natural. just have to, um, um, through the voice, as we say in Raga, you have to through the voice, and then they, they, it's like a, it's like a spirit catcher. <laughs> the, the, the walls are, 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 are responding. Like we are in a, in a crystal mountain. There is an echo, and it's uh, a little bit different of what I'm doing, so it's very, it's very, um, uh, I feel it in my whole body, really. inspires me now to collaborate with the walls is that finally I they're making it so beautiful uh, they're, they're, the tone is so relaxing so deep so um, mm, enticing that um, they invite me to sing they evolved then now the voice can sing with them so the idea that I have here right now is the moment that the singing balls are creating a ground and for the aspiration of the actualization of a spiritual potential. There is an actualization, there is an awakening of connecting this, the healing quality of the voice when it's free and flow with the divine sound that the crystal balls bring. That sometimes they're so divine that you forget that you can sing with them. <laughs> you don't need to, right? But, but people want, I mean, I receive constantly, how can I sing with her? How? And I don't even use the word singing because the singing balls are singing. So how we vocalize with them, how we create, um, how, how we shape melodies with them. So I think the walls have this incredible possibility to take us directly into the, the harmony of the spheres, into the original uh, function of music, which is to quiet the mind, to make it sensitive to divine intervention. So the voice has to be really um, listening like a musical instrument and then we have the hands that needs to also be part of the of the gestalt of working with the voice and the balls the movement of the hands at some point the balls are playing by itself and they give time and space for the voice to create the music so there is, um, mm, I think the most uh, interesting word for this will be co-creation, Shiva Shakti. 
that kind of movement. So uh, the idea is that the voice will take turns with the singing balls. They are going to be deep listening to each other because it's very easy to go for and just tone. But that for too long, it will be uh, just one form of vocal art. Voice is a musical instrument and we need to play it. Um, we are playing the, the singing balls and the singing balls in itself are very in, intense because they take a lot of concentration and we still have to be able to save some concentration for how we shape the sound of the voice and, and co-create with the balls. And that comes the next level, which is musical repertoire, uh, musicality, or how we are going to uh, immerse ourselves in the art of melody and how the art of melody becomes a journey that, that, that follows the movement of the singing balls and vice versa. The singing balls start kind of uh, reacting to the melodiousness of the voice. So for, in, in that case, the melody in itself is, is like a formula. <laughs> you know, it's a vibrational formula. The more that we understand how to move one note in time with the other one, the most important aspect that I'm learning and I'm enjoying is the time between one note and the next one. That means that we go beyond toning one note into more tuning into a musical scale. But beyond a musical scale, to maybe to be um, kind of the, the, the vase, the, 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 the ground for, for a raga to happen, an Indian classical raga, which is a particular way of configuration of melody. Working with the voice as a musical instrument for the art of melody and harmony with the, the singing balls. So we are, we are taking them to the next level, which is making music. These singing balls uh, can take us to Icaros, to ragas, to songs, to improvisation. And we just need to learn what the voice is doing. What I learned is that the voice loves to know, okay, what I'm doing now. And this is what I give. If you are inspired to uh, sing, start singing or, or developing more, evolving your, your voice with the singing balls, um, what I can offer and facilitate is the, the first to explore the mindset that you bring to the field and to the practice and offer you very particular, very short practices to um, connect the voice with your body because the voice is, is, is a fabric of um, muscles and breath and minimal movement. And how you uh, dance with this, this, the voice and the instruments, the singing balls, the different ways to time your participation with the voice and the singing balls. Knowing what you do with your voice liberates you from any concern you have about using your voice. And then you have to do it.
No. 